Today I'm going to show you how to add music and sound effects to your live stream because I'm Owen Video and this is the Video Marketing School. Was that good? Hey, if you're live streaming or you want to start live streaming, then adding music and sound effects to your videos can really add a professional touch. But in order to do that, you need to have the right technology set up. So whether you're using a Mac or a PC, I want you to go download Black Cat Systems. I put a link in the description box and when you click that link, you're going to be led to a website that seriously looks like it's from 1972. I have no idea why these guys have not updated their website, but I swear to you, there's no spam on this website. You're gonna wanna download either Soundbite for Mac or Soundbite for Windows. When you open up the program, you're gonna see a box like this, and this is called a rack, and this is sort of the foundation of your sound effects. It works kind of like a soundboard here. And when you right click on an available rack like this, you'll get a little button up here, and this is where you add your sound effects. You'll come in here, you'll select a sound file, you'll go to your computer, and you'll add it. So. In this case, here is a track that I got from Soundstripe, which is my preferred music company. And when I add it to my sound file here, as I add it as the sound file, I have all sorts of customization options that I can add here. We'll look at those in just a quick second. But first, this is very important. Your default sound output device, okay? You've got to make sure that this is set to your default sound output device and click Save. Now, when you do that, your track has been added to the cart and this big black button here, this operates everything. Now, watch your ears, guys. It's gonna go at full volume. This is your volume tab. So let's listen to what it sounds like now. And with Soundbite, all you have to do is click on the green square right here and the sound is going off. But notice how the volume bar goes right back to where it was, okay? You can customize that every time by putting the volume where you want it first. For this case, I'm gonna put it all the way down here and then clicking the green button and now you have it at the volume you want it to stay at, okay? So you can add all sorts of cool music and sound effects to these carts. Here's some of the sound effects that we use, starting with my favorite. I don't give a rat's behind what you feel. Just do it! You're getting more tragic by the moment. I don't care! Now, for those of you wondering why the heck we have so many Judge Judy sound effects, it's because I actually got my start on Judge Judy when I was sued on national television. I put a link to that video in the description box below if you'd like to see it. Let's get back to the video. Now I've got a few other cool sound effects that you can use too, like a laugh track right here. I have uh, the Mario sound, which is pretty cool, I love that. Um, and then of course, when I introduce a guest, I may wanna play something like this. Doesn't that remind you of the old Imperial Butter commercials? It's not butter, it's Imperial Margarine. And of course, I have a bleep sound effect for whenever I have Sebastian Rusk on the show. But here's another great feature of using Soundbite. You can actually mix these sounds together. So for example, I have an intro to my live stream show that sounds something like this. You're watching Stream Like You Mean It, where entrepreneurs and video going, creators like you learn to create more effective and engaging live stream it. shows. This show is hosted by Owen Video and powered by Restream. We're live every Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Streaming. So just an example of how you could use it. Now, remember how earlier I told you that there were some cool customization factors? Let's take a look at that right now by right-clicking on the cart that we want to open and taking a look at some of the options that we have here. For example, we could stop other sounds while this is playing. So it takes away the overlap feature that I was just sharing with you. But we could also click to restart playback. And you have a, a whole bunch of options here. If you're going to be live streaming music, for example, you're going to want to loop this so that you could take, uh, you know, a, a minute 37 loop or you could take a very short loop and just have it going underneath you the entire time. Now, I just recently did a video about where to find great music for live streaming and you can click that video if you want to watch it now. Some of the other great features that I use are the fade out cart on click and the fade in. I'm not going to use it now, but I do use those often. You can also set the in and out times of the sound effect or of the music. My favorite feature though is probably the button color right here. If I want that button to really stand out, then I can choose any color for it. Click OK, click Save, and now all of a sudden, Ghost Beats is down here. And what I like to do is you can drag these by clicking on the lower corner here. You can drag this to go anywhere you want 
in the cart and you can even shrink the window up a little bit so that it's just the size you need because if you're live streaming you don't need all these empty carts you're getting in your way all you need is to have this little sound bite sorry about that you need to have all you need to have is this little box open right up here so that as you're live streaming you can quickly look at the pink button you need to click the green button whatever it is and you can start your show properly Hello. You know that was badass. So now that you know how to quickly play sound effects and music during your live stream, let me show you how to actually go live and set up Soundbite to work with your live streaming studio. Now I use a company called Restream and you can find them at epiclivevideo.com. Set up your free live streaming account. And with Restream, you can be going live on multiple different websites and in multiple Facebook groups and on multiple YouTube channels, even on Twitch, all at the same time. Simply click enter the live studio. And when you do that, you'll see an interface that looks something like this. Now I want you to notice all the different options that you have here. We're not going to really cover these today because I've talked about them in other videos that you can see on my channel. But what I want to show you immediately is to come down here into the settings section. Okay. And over here uh, where it says audio input, you're going to set this up to your default. So now Restream is set up to your default. And then when we open up Soundbite on the screen, we can right click on this and we see that these are set up to your default, which means that as I play these sound effects, they will stream live onto my broadcast. I got your back, dog. Now, if you're using something like OBS or Streamlabs, it all works kind of the same way with little tiny differences, but why not use Restream? It's way better. Was there anything else I need to cover? So look, go get Soundbite and use it to stream sound effects and music while you're live, whether on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. And if you want to know where to get great sound effects for your live streams, then watch this video next. I'll go through some of my favorite sound effects websites where you can find exactly what you're looking for. So click on the video now. I'm Owen, and I'll see you there.